and take a look at this video that was shot yesterday from above the Jersey Shore. This is millions of dollars in damage that you're seeing right now. Superstorm Sandy is going down in history as the second costliest cyclone in the nation's history. It destroyed over 6,406 homes in New York and New Jersey alone. And let's go ahead and see how these storms are affecting our satellite and radar. Good news over on the West Coast. We have no storms and no cold fronts finally, but focus over here on the East Coast. You can see that New York and those northeastern states are getting hit with some rain and snow. So let's go ahead and zoom into that. You can see that Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Western Virginia are all getting hit with those storms right now, but New York is finally clear, so they're giving a little break from that hurricane that just hit them. And let's see how those storms are affecting our current temperatures uh, nationally. We've got 52 in St. Louis, 40 in Chicago, 40 in New York, and over into the West Coast, 51 in Portland. 59 in San Francisco and 63 in Phoenix. So looking good for us. Let's see how it looks around the state though. Our current temperature is 69 in Yuma, 51 in Prescott, 47 in Page and 60 in Tucson. But it's gonna cool down in the evening. We've got 16 in Winslow, 26 in Page, one degree in Flagstaff and a negative one in the Grand Canyon. But good news for us here in the Valley, what you all have been waiting for, sunshine across the board. We've got 70s all the way across. So on Thursday, you can enjoy your Valentine's Day outside, a high of 71 and a low of 48. And into the weekend, high 70s. And into Monday, again, 73 and a low of 49. So you guys out there can go wash your cars. Finally, no chance of rain this week. That's it for the forecast. I'm Sarah Edelman, Cronkite Weather.